Good morning, everyone. You walk along the Sturgeon Trail just outside of New London in Wapaka County right now, and you can see along the banks of the Wolf River here, you see pods of sturgeon fish. It's the spawning season, and right here, you can see these large fish, uh, mostly males. I think there might be one female in there. It's incredible. These fish are massive. They're prehistoric really a neat thing to see. But this is also a very busy time of year for the DNR because they work on uh, tagging them. Right, Ron? That's right. Ron Brook is a DNR um, sturgeon biologist. So why don't you bring us through what you do with these fish? Sure. They just captured this fish and we're going to process it now. Getting it out of the net. And then we get a length on all of the fish. Ready? Good here. 52.5. And we check the sex. And this should be a male. Yep, that's a male. And then we're going to cut tag it. Okay, and why is this process important? Well, we, we, uh, we tag as many fish as we can every spring, and then those are the data that we use to estimate the size of the populations, set harvest caps for the spear fishery in the following year. What did and, that uh, white machine just do? I'm sorry. Well, what that, did... that's, um, this is a scan inside this, the end of this syringe here, this small glass tag uh -huh. called a pit tag. It's the same thing people put in their dogs and cats. Sure. And uh, we inject these into the fish. And uh, that, that fish will carry that identification tag for its whole life. It's a passive tag. So this little white thing here activates the tag, sends a number back to this little viewing window. And that will be that fish's serial number for the rest of its life. And and this, this particular fish is probably somewhere 20 years old, 25 years old. Wow. This How fish could live another 75 to 100 years. It'll carry that tag that whole time. I know this is a busy time of year for you. Um, where have you been tagging and about how many do you think that you've processed so far this season? Well, we've probably tagged about 150 fish so far. But uh, we tag primarily here at, at, the, at, at the County X and at Triac and at Bamboo Bend so far. And this weekend it'll be the big show at Shano. Okay, so Shano Dam, if you want to, you know, bring the family out, there's a viewing area. Wow. And it, once in a while you see these massive uh, splashes. You can see their, their fins popping out of the water. Shano Dam this weekend, um, right. this morning here along this the... This morning here, yep. They're kind of wrapping up here. They've been here for several days and so they're kind of wrapping up. The Shano Dam should be the show this, this Saturday and Sunday. Okay, and um, if you want to take a look, just right down here, you see these two men down here with the caps on. They're part of the Sturgeon Patrol, and we're going to talk about the importance of them coming up in our next segment. So we'll toss it back to you guys.